Hi there, we're I'm Rhonda Day and I'm Libby Simons and we're from the Volunteer Support Program. We're looking at volunteer sustainability, volunteer development and volunteer support. So they're the three streams that we're working towards and each of those streams have a range of different projects that we're working on. Within the Volunteer Sustainability Project we're looking at growth and decline, engaging diverse communities, uh, recruitment, retention and recognition and the Membership Sustainability Project. And under the development stream we're looking at leadership, well-being and training and assessment. If you'd like to find out more just contact us or check out the website. My name's Leading Firefighter Daniel Tors from Dandenong Fire Station. I've been working with Leading Firefighter Greg Anderson on a project on high-rise firefighting and multi-storey firefighting. We've been working on it for about four or five years now, uh, doing a fair bit of research, including uh, myself. I've travelled around uh, the States uh, to New York and Boston, having a look at what they do, and Denver. Um, we've basically, from our research, come out with some equipment, tactics and strategies that uh, CFA can use to better handle firefighting in high-rise and multi-storey environments. The benefit to firefighters within CFA is that uh, they'll be safer if they encounter fires in a high-rise or multi-storey environment, but also uh, just in our general structural firefighting, it will hopefully, uh, the, the tactics and techniques that we're talking about will raise the, uh, raise the skills of our firefighters across the organisation generally and obviously the benefit to the community is that as uh, our community tends to uh, move towards living in higher density living uh, we will be better able to keep them safe. Hi I'm Pamela Mitchell I'm part of the career firefighter recruitment team we're very excited to be invited along to the project expo today uh, the career firefighter recruitment team does sit alongside project 2016 uh, it, it, very exciting opportunities are increasing our workforce, tapping into those that are in the organisation already via volunteering capacity or within the organisation. Looking forward to making a transition over to operational work. Career firefighter recruitment are very busy this year. Uh, just currently closed off a recruitment campaign and about to get underway with recruitment. This is for hiring for positions for 2014. Um, there's lots of work to be done and looking forward to being part of it. Hello there. Hi, I'm Ian Stevenson. I'm the Vegetation Project Manager uh, for what we call Fire Ecology, is the term we now use. And I'd like to introduce my colleague, Mike McStephen. Um, the Fire Ecology Project uh, started three years ago. It endeavoured to bring in objectives of the natural environment, fire, how fire interacts with the natural environment, into CFA's business. It's been a challenging venture. We have a number of publications that we've produced, but then it was a matter of getting a bit of traction out there in the community. So we trialled a pilot, which we called Firescape, based on a New South Wales model of hotspots. Mike, tell us a bit about that, could you? Well, Firescape is a two-workshop model which looks at uh, teaching landowners about fire ecology. So fire planning from two perspectives. One's a fire ecology perspective, the other is a fire risk perspective. So getting them to look at the native vegetation that's on their properties and even on their neighbours' properties and planning what the best use of fire is to protect their assets but also to bring in appropriate levels of fire into the native vegetation, which keeps the native vegetation regenerating, keeps it healthy, which improves their native veg as well as giving them some assets protection. We found a lot of landowners have been very happy about that and have been quite happy to uh, consider using fire in properties that they'd otherwise keep fire away from. So it's been a good community engagement program. Also natural resource management groups like Landcare and Trust for Nature are very interested in this area as well. Uh, they haven't done a lot of uh, private land burning before but they um, are certainly very interested and very willing to engage with uh, CFA brigades. And I'm with the Grassland Curing Project at the CFA and I'm a satellite remote sensing analyst. Now the Grassland Curing Project uh, involves the collection 
collection of field observations from across the state. And these observations are telling us how dry the grass is, which is what curing is. And these observations um, feed into the calculation for the grassland fire danger index, which helps determine the fire danger rating of Victoria throughout the fire season. Now this season, we've got a new satellite and field data product. So this new product combines uh, both field observations with satellite observations. Now the satellite data we're getting is from the Weather Bureau. They've got a, a direct feed of satellite data from a NASA sat satellite. And this satellite orbits the Earth every 90 minutes. So we've actually got an updated satellite image every day, but we're just using a, a new satellite image once a week. So every Sunday we use a satellite map and we use a map d derived from field observations and we produce a grassland curing map by Monday every every week throughout the fire season. Uh, so this is basically a more accurate way of presenting grassland curing data. So it's going to provide a more accurate calculation of the grassland fire danger index. So currently we've got over 150 uh, volunteers making these observations every week but there are some pockets of Victoria where we're needing more observations. Um, so we do uh, welcome anybody out in the out, out in the rural communities um, to volunteer, put their hands up and uh, volunteer to make these observations every Sunday for a Monday map throughout the fire season.